Hi, welcome to an Inventor 2017 video tutorial. I want to do that exercise which I call Beehive in Inventor. I will do it in a slightly different way because the thicken feature works a little bit different than in Katir or NX. So we'll go for a solid and then we'll shell it. So let's have fun with Inventor 2017. We will start with a sketch as usual. So maybe let's show those planes. And let's do the sketch maybe on that plane. Let's start with a circle. Diameter should be 200, and another one which is 400 in diameter. Okay, now I need a line, maybe like this, and trim it. At a dimension that should be an angle that might be 10 degrees. And I want to project the x axis, yes. Make it for construction. And I could do it with symmetry, yes. So make these two symmetric to that projected line. Okay. I need points. One, two, one, two. So finish that sketch. And I need points. And I could do it with intersection of two lines. Or intersection of plane surface and line that would do the trick. So let's do first some surfaces. Make an extrude with go for a surface, make it symmetric, use that circle, make it 30, and share that sketch and You can use it once again. So next will be another extrude. Now with this circle again a surface symmetric 30. Okay. Now I need those working points. So go for point intersection of plane surface and line. So that surface yeah, of course, I will. And that line, this point, that surface, and that line, and another point, that surface, and this line, and again a point, that surface, and that line. Now I could hide those extrusions and the sketch as well. And that extrusion too. Okay. Now I need planes. So I go for a plane which is parallel to this one through one of those points. Let's use this one. And another plane parallel to this one through that point right here. So I could hide those planes. And I need to draw a hexagon first on that plane. So go for a sketch right on this plane. 
That would be a hexagon or a polygon with six sides, yes. Use that as center point and maybe like this. This line should be vertical aligned or horizontal depending on this view. Yeah, and one of those two points should be on that, it should be the center point. So project, let's say, this point into the sketch and make these okay. It's fully constrained. Finish that sketch. Now I need another sketch on that plane. And I will not draw a hexagon, I will draw it by myself because it's easy to do. So I need some points. Project that point. Project this point, that point this point, that point, and that point. That should do it. Now draw a polygon with six sides. Try to snap only on the necessary points. Try to avoid to catch some sort of angle between the lines. This happens very fast. Now let's align this point to that one, sorry, to this one. That one as well. This point should be not aligned, but this point to that one, this one to that one. And seems I, because I cannot move these, seems I have, that's parallel, that might be okay, not necessarily, so maybe I will delete this constraint right here, and then I should be able to put that point right there. Okay, same over here. So again, something was automatically said. See, I got there this perpendicularity. I don't want that. And then I can put that point onto the mid. That's okay, finish the sketch. Now let's hide those planes. And make a loft. Go for loft. From this one to that one looks good and I will go for a solid because as I told you this thicken offset works a little bit different than in the other programs so let's confirm this one and now I want to shell this loft so go for a shell and I want to remove this face and that face and that should be 0.1 Okay, now I need a circular pattern. So let's go for circular. I want to pattern that body. I could pattern the feature or the body. And Let's 
check the rotation axis. The rotation axis would be the set axis. And I need 360 divided by 10, 36 instances. I got one body. Now I have to copy it and move it. So what I will do is I will make a rectangular pattern with a body, with this body, and I will make a new body. Create new bodies. And the direction would be the set axis two instances and the distance I want to measure the distance and the distance would be measure I need a line to measure the distance because I cannot make a measurement along a direction. So I will do it with a sketch and let's do a sketch maybe on the XY plane, yes. No, sorry, wrong plane, delete that. That would be the XY plane. XY plane is this one. XZ plane would do YZ plane on the YZ plane. Okay, so go for a sketch on that plane. And I need to project some points. I need that point right here and I need that point right there it's not possible that's crazy no it's possible I just didn't see it this happens because it's right behind yes okay now let's cut graphics and make a line from that point right here up and these two should be aligned that point and that point. Finish that sketch and now I could measure that line and do the pattern. Rectangular pattern. I want to have an, a body and I want to have a new body. And the direction would be the set axis and the distance is that line from this point to up to that point right here. No, this, that's the point. It's kind of misleading. That's the point and that's the distance. So confirm. And now let's move that body. The two bodies. One, two, and I want to move that and turn it around the set axis. So go to modify, move bodies. I want to move that body, that's okay. I want to turn it by five degrees. That's the half of 10 degrees. And by the set axis confirm. 
this looks pretty good and I could try to make a union between these two let's see if it works combine base body would be this one the tool body would be that one let's see if it works yes it works and now I could pattern that body by two times the length of this line so let's go for another rectangular pattern I want to pattern solids they should be unified and the direction would be again the set axis and the distance would be the last measurement should be this one hopefully multiplied by 2 so let's go over there 2 times that distance and if you want 3 instances just go for 3 and enter let's see yeah looks pretty good and I'm done so if you liked it please give it a like leave a nice comment if you want to see more give it a like please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe and please like my facebook cat fan page it would be very very nice of you thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye